So here we have one more puzzle. In this we have three squares. And in these squares we have certain partitions. In the first two squares we have all the partitions filled with few numbers, right? And in the last square, we have two empty spaces. This is the empty space and here we have one more empty space. So we have to find the logical relation between the numbers written in these first two squares and applying the same logic, we have to fill the empty spaces of the third square, right? So now let's start from this number. The logic behind starting from this number is in the third square we are provided with only this number, top left number, right? So now let's find the difference between this number and this number. So bigger number is 18 minus 15 is 3. 8 minus 5, 3, 0, right? That means 15 is actually 18 minus 3, right? Yes. And now let's see if we get this 11 by subtracting 3 from 14. So let's do 14 minus 3, 4 minus 3, 1, and 1. Yes, we are getting this 11 by subtracting 3 from 14, right? So what will be this number? This number will be 17 minus 3. 7 minus 3 is 4 and we have to write 1 as it is. So the number here should be 14, right? Yes. And now let's check the relation between 18 and 23. This relation. So what will we do? Again, we will find the difference. So let's do 23 minus 18. 3 minus 8 not possible. So we will borrow 1 from here. This will become 1 and this will become 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. And this will be 0, right? That means if we add 5 to 18, we are going to get 23, right? And now let's check if we are getting 19. 4 plus 5, 9 and 1. Yes, we are getting 19 by adding 5 to 14, right? So similarly, we will get this number. And this number should be 17 plus 5, 7 plus 5, 12, 1 carried forward, 1 plus 1, 2, right? So what will be this number? This number should be 22, right? So we have found the solutions. We have found that the top right corner will be filled by 14 and the bottom empty space will be filled by 22, right? So these are the solutions for this puzzle.